Hey everybody, it's Rain, and today I'm going to show you how to comb alpaca fiber. I've got my Valkyrie Extra Fine Combs here, and the combing pad that I also got is by Valkyrie. Now if you're in a pinch, you can use a Velcro method. Get some industrial Velcro and put the soft ends down on your desk, and then the sticky ends go across the combing pad in this fashion. I do not recommend this, but if you are in a pinch, it can work. That's what I used before I got my clamps. As you can see, it can hold quite a bit of pressure, enough to comb with, but you do have to keep re-sticking it down to make sure that it doesn't pop up. Now this is what you really need. You really need a set of clamps. I got mine at Lowe's. They're pretty expensive for a pack of two. I think I paid about eight bucks for a pack of two and they are worth every penny. So as I was saying, I definitely recommend getting two clamps over the Velcro method. That way it's nice and sturdy and you know it's not going anywhere. And it'll also reduce the risk of injury with these combs. Now, if you want, you can check out my video, Step 1.5, on how to process this alpaca fiber to get it in a nice lock structure like here in the video. I'll link it in the cards right now and in the description. As you can see, you just pull it apart and the locks are intact and they are ready to lash on. They're perfect. I like to get a nice little bundle like so. And when you lash it on, you want to get the very back tip, as far back as you can. I would say probably about a quarter of an inch will work for lashing it on. And I just like to lay it on like so. Or you can do the other method, which I'm about to show you, taking each end of the lock and putting it on like that. If you do the second method by holding each end of the lock, make sure you are very, very careful with these combs, especially if they are the Valkyrie, because they are very sharp and they will cut your hands like no other. Trust me, I get hurt quite a bit because I try to go too fast and I don't recommend that. So just keep lashing on until your comb is about half full Maybe a little over, maybe a little under. You can experiment. I like to pull it up just a little bit at the back. And then you wanna take your other comb and just gently brush through the tips, the very tips of the fiber, just like so. Just grab those tips. Just like we did with lashing them on. We wanna get about, probably about a quarter to an eighth of an inch of the tip of the lock combing through right now and as we go through it'll pick up the longest fibers and it'll weed out the shorter ones and you can start moving up toward the tines as you go along and I found if I put the tines in the fiber straight across and then angle it up after you pull through a little bit it helps to pull off some of that fiber and if your fiber is too hard to pull off the combs, if it's not coming off, you need to separate the fibers on the back side of the comb. And once you start getting a little bit on your other comb and it gets a little haywire, you can get the ends nice and tidy by taking that comb and turning it to the side, fluff it out a little bit, and just get the ends of that fiber back onto your comb that you originally lashed on. That just puts some of the fibers back onto the other comb. And make sure that you hold it at an angle if you're gonna go on the bottom of the comb. And you can alternate going back and forth this way as much as you'd like, however you need to do it to get our fibers nice and straight. And once you don't have much on there, as you can see, it gets a little bit tougher near the end and I start going a little closer to get the rest of those fibers off because sometimes they can get a little tangled up. I'll pull it, be very careful if you do this, pull it and get those last couple fibers off. I hate to waste any. This can be used for dryer balls. Any of your waste, I always comb my waste again and then use it for dryer balls if I don't have any 
other use for it. Now, I like to fluff my fiber up in the back and pull it up just a hair so it's not on the bottom of that comb. Now this is important. Make sure you fluff your fiber out just a little bit. Don't pull it all the way up to the tip of the combs. Just a little bit. That will keep your fiber from falling apart. Alpaca fiber is known for just breaking apart as we comb it. These are my handmade dizzes. I'm using a five millimeter hole. Now you wanna, you can start in the middle, but I like to start on the side. You can start on the side or in the middle. I give it a little twist, thread it through, and just pull nice and gently. Remember your staple length and pull until, do not pull until it gets thin. Just pull about, I would say three fourths of the way to your staple length, maybe just half of your staple length, and then push your diz up. And keep a twist in your fiber as you go. As you can see, I'm twisting it and then pulling and pushing. Make sure your hands are not cracked and dry. Have some lotion on there. Not too much lotion though, you don't wanna get that in your fiber. But just make sure that there's nothing that can catch on your hands. And I like to pull with about two or three motions before I let it go. And you have to be careful when you let it go because that's what causes it to break, is getting those fibers out of alignment as you're letting them go. You can just watch my technique here. I give it a little twist and then kind of just let it slide out of my hand. Just pull and push. So satisfying. This is my favorite part. And if you get a little stray one like that, you can either keep pulling on it or just kind of let it go to the side and pull it off. I usually just keep pulling on it and try to add it in with the top. Make sure you have something underneath your fiber to catch it. Don't let it just fall all the way to the floor. I like to have something up off the ground like a little stool or a side table. Right now I have my chair and you can just put it in a basket. I'm just letting it fall onto my chair. Now as you roll it up into a nest, you wanna make sure that you keep twist in it. Put a little bit of twist in it and wrap it as you go. As you can see, I'm adding twist to it. And that will keep your fiber from number one, sticking to itself and falling apart that way. And the twist will also keep it from just falling apart. Cause alpaca fiber is very delicate and it's beautifully soft, but it is very delicate when it's in top form, especially. And here is our gorgeous little nest of alpaca fiber. It's beautiful and ready to spin. Always keep your waist. That way you can either recomb it or use it as dryer balls or you can card it and spin it as a woolen spun yarn. I will have a video on how to use your alpaca waist to make dryer balls and I'm gonna link my playlist here so you can check it out and see if it's there. If not, it will be soon. And another tip that I wanted to add is to make sure that you have a spray bottle. I usually use just water, but you can also use um, Downy Wrinkle Releaser is a really good one to use for static. And just keep that handy if your fiber starts to fluff up everywhere and stick to itself really bad or stick to your combs. Just give your combs a spray with that water or the downy wrinkle releaser and you don't need much just one or two sprays is all you need so I would like you to leave me a comment down below if you've ever attempted to comb alpaca fiber and if you've ever spun a hundred percent alpaca fiber and how did you like it how did it go let me know in the comments below to start in one corner give it a little twist thread it through and I made the mistake of not fluffing up my fiber on the back side of the comb for this round so it did pull a little too thin at the end 
but I was still able to wrap it up in the same nest and it was just fine. It'll spin just fine. If your fiber breaks or if it keeps breaking, maybe try to fluff it up a little bit less. But in this instance, I had to pull harder because I didn't fluff it up at all in the back. So that was my fault. It's probably going to take you some time to master it, but with enough patience and perseverance, you will prevail. And just keep the twist in that fiber as you pull it off. It'll take some practice, but you'll get there. I suggest giving it a try. It's really fun and I absolutely love alpaca fiber for blending or on its own. Make sure if you have to use the restroom or get up for any reason to always keep a cover on your combs even if it's just cardboard stapled together like the Valkyries come with. That's what I use so nobody gets hurt. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Please like, comment, subscribe, and share. Rain Fiber Arts. Follow me on Instagram, Facebook, TikTok. Thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye.